for those of you that are kind of tuning in and checking this out the game it, it's literally modern warfare's 19 engine just maybe a little bit tweaked with some graphics yeah so that's what i've been hearing is a lot of people are kind of meh to get to the point of what john was saying and what varello was saying there are issues with it uh, but the game the map and the game looks pretty beautiful, I must say, ladies and gents. It, I do give them credit for that. The game definitely feels... All the classes? Oh, okay. Got it. So we actually have custom classes that we can use now. Control. Capture the objective. All right. Nice spawn. Look at that spawn, chat. Oh, my... What the? What was that? The sound is definitely off. You are correct on that. At times, you'll bust through doors and they won't make any noise. The footsteps seem to be very quiet. And the balance as a whole just does not feel like a good audio balance. Meaning everything sounds like it's coming in at a clear level or some of the things that you would imagine would have these higher peaks are not having those peaks. So I'd really like them to rebalance some of the audio to really make it feel like you're actually in that space and you are actually experiencing the things that are happening, such as footsteps, moving around, etc., etc. Battlefield in just World War II era, but mainly Battlefield because that's what I've been playing. But I mean, it's such a different, quick, fast-paced setting compared to what Battlefield has. Don't like the no notification, the guide, the bomb is income. The guide, moving that bomb is incredibly challenging. Oh my goodness. Ah! Like, look at that spawn chat. Look at that. See the map size. You can see this is only a 6v6 domination map. There are 12v12. There's 10v10 maps. There's a lot of different stuff that they're kind of toying with in this game. It's very bizarre. Look at- Dude, I just can't get over this shit. Look at this. I will say, I really like the maps that they picked for this beta. I think it showed off the different theaters of war that they really want to hit up, and they were very beautiful to look at. That is a terrible hallway. I So I was playing this map earlier, and I gotta say, it's absolutely brutal, that entire area that they have. That hallway is brutal. It's not the only way. There's the classic three lanes on this map, so I can go inside the building, run up through here, go in through Bravo, and then, as you can see, try and capture Bravo as well. But spawns, one thing that I was telling people I don't understand is spawns. Spawns do not make any sense to me in... And this is very much true for Call of Duty games in general. Most people already are, already are tracking this and understand this is kind of how it goes. Call of Duty, anytime they could release their game just on launch, like dude, look at that spawn. That's brutal. Easter game just on launch, like dude, look at that spawn. Anytime that they release their games on launch, the spawns are absolutely garbage. And they always fix them, but it's an ongoing problem. And the only thing that's going to make it worse is the fact that they have to... They continuously are going to have to work on spawns with different types of game modes and what i mean by that is i was playing a 10v10 domination map and it was absolutely brutal trying to play that because spawns were everywhere it definitely shows that call of duty or at least vanguard in general was not prepared to release a spawn system for a 10v10 or 12v12 game mode and they were definitely prepared for more of a 6v6 game mode uh, and that's the biggest issue i'm noticing right now. Now one of the things that I really like them to do is tweak the MP40 and the STG44 and make them a little more balanced across all the weapon systems. That way it's a little more fair for the user to pick other weapon systems rather than feeling like they're forced to use the STG44 and the MP40. There were some times where I was using the Thompson and I felt pretty good about it but I was getting outshot by the STG44 and the MP40 pretty consistently so some overall weapon balancing would be awesome to see them tweak these and make it better than just everyone running an MP40 or an STG44. Oh my gosh. Fuck, man. These spawns, dude. Now, the walls that are able to break and that micro destruction is really cool to see. It really makes the world feel more lively and feel real. However, I really think that the actual micro destruction, as far as the walls are concerned, where you can bust through them, there needs to be an animation where maybe you're lowering your shoulder and you're busting through it to make sure that. Got it is him. a little bit of a hindrance and a downside to just pushing through the wall Flanking, with baby. your gun not at the ready. Right now, your gun is at the ready, and it's almost as if nothing happened. It's okay. It's all right. Can't win them all, chat. Like that. You just spawn, and you die. That's uh, part of the Call of Duty experience, really. Okay, that was just, that was just silly. 
You always have to check the people that are running next to you because you don't know if it's a teammate or if it's an enemy on these bigger... These bigger freaking maps. I'm telling you. Wow. That flinch after getting shot a couple times is pretty brutal. So a lot of people are obviously asking me what my thoughts are on the game. And this is what I'll say about it. I really truly believe that Battlefield is going to be my all-in game. Will I get this game? Yeah, I'm going to get it. I will. Overall, I would say I'm enjoying this game more than, say, my experience I had with Black Ops Cold War. I barely touched Black Ops Cold War multiplayer after my first couple of matches. I just didn't enjoy it. I did not enjoy it at all. So. Dogs, on the other hand. Goodness. But this is what I'll say. I will say that I really, truly hope they can fix some things up, tighten this game up a bit, and it'll be a solid Call of Duty experience, but it won't be the best Call of Duty experience. So, will I get this game? Yes, I will. Do I recommend it? If you really... Wow, look at this, chat. Wow. They're paying for I don't know. I always... Oh, it's right. Vanguard has been decent. Oh, me, man. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Oh, my gosh, man. Now, the kill streaks, I have to say, they're pretty fun. Uh, this is the flame knot. Dude, this flamethrower thing is actually kind of sick. I'm not going to lie. And I had so much fun with this. It really spiced things up yeah, for this up? game. Big fan. Oh, God. We got a flame knot. Holy shit, dude. This thing is unreal. It's like... Damn that! Oh. Ah! He got me. Died, I guess. Oh yeah. Damn it! I wanted to get that so bad. That was weird. Isn't his left hand? Did you see that? I really enjoy you in the community. I appreciate that, man. Holy sh! This gun's fire rate. I know the MG42 had a crazy fire rate in real life, but... Are you ready? Kool-Aid man. Holy sh... But it's a little bit more of a... Taking their own approach oh, to what World War II is. Obviously, it's not a realistic look at World War II. And by realistic, I mean the actual weapon systems and how they go about attachments, things like that. It's all very different, so... Wow, that guy just oh, popped man, he off. Is snapping. Is it going to be the game? I'm more excited for games like Battlefield 2042, to be honest with you, Blood Machine. The more I play, I like it. I agree, Mikey. I feel the same way. Way better than Cold War. I agree. Couldn't agree more. Way better than Cold War. The sun is brutal. 24v24. Here we go, ladies and gents. I don't know if 24v24 is going to work out well for Call of Duty. Especially with the way that the spawns are right now. It's pretty brutal. So we'll see. A lot of the guns don't seem to have much recoil differentiation. So what I mean by that is a lot of the weapons seem to be very much similar tracks of killing. Similar tracks of movement. It just seems like there isn't much variation. Uh, now I know when you put attachments on the guns, they'll either make them better or they'll change it and really personalize the way that you want your weapon system to be. So there is that, and I will give that to them, right, that they have that. But just something to keep in mind that a lot of these guns feel somewhat similar. It's just the damage fall off is what is really changing the feel for, for it. I got the shivers. Whatever I'm thinking about you. Just want to live and live without you.